Yo, what's up everyone? Trey Man one here and we're back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime discussion video. And today guys we're gonna be talking about the new stuff coming in 2018 for Pokemon the, the series Sun and Moon. We got a lot to talk about in this preview. We got one preview and two episode titles. The two episode titles are for both in January. The first one is something about real time changing forms. And the other one is about called Don't Cry Marini. These two episodes well, the first episode seems kind of meh, except for the fact that Marshadow will actually be appearing in this episode. I really wonder what Marshadow's role will be in this episode. As we can see, we see Rotom in the background, and he's looking like, whoa, it's Marshadow, and Marshadow just caves into the ground. Like, well, first we've seen Poipo, now we're seeing Marshadow. I really believe that they're hyping this up to some big next arc. We got Sogaleo established, we got Marshadow here, and we got... Um, Poipo, and I really was not expecting to see Marshadow actually appear in the anime. I thought he was just going to be one time in the movies, because we never really see the leg mythical legendary from the movies appear in the anime, but actually we're seeing Marshadow here, so this is very exciting to see Marshadow, and I can't wait, I cannot wait to see what Marshadow have to offer for the series in the future. I don't believe it would do too much in this episode, but I believe this is going to tease for what's to come in the future. The episode summary for this episode is basically Rotom ends up getting taken out of his form one day when Ash, Kakui, and Burnett go shopping. He ends up going into different forms of Rotom. So basically, this is the episode that we get every series where they discuss how Rotom has different forms and stuff. It's it's a trend, basically. Every series, we have, we have to get one episode of Rotom changing form, so it makes sense. But this same time, it seems like it's going to have a twist since we get to see Marshadow here. What's very confusing about this episode is this one scene right here. Where we get to see Rotom Wash form in the background of the Pokemon Center. Then we get to see Rotom Dex as well. Like, I wonder, what's is there really going to be two Rotoms? Like, we know Rotom Dex will come out of his Dex form. But maybe another Rotom takes over the Dex form. I don't know what could really happen here. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to be quite interesting to see. Why there's two Rotoms in this episode and what could go down next. We also get to see Rotom interacting with Harper and Sarah. Interacting with all the companions, really. So, yeah. I guess Rotom's going to be traveling from house to house, maybe, through the electric cords like it did in the first episode when it got into the Pokemon Dex form. But, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting episode. And, actually, I know there's probably not going to be no new Rotom form discovered. But, it would be cool to see a special Rotom form possibly hinting at a new one for Gen 8. That'd be really cool. The next episode is Don't Cry Marini. Now this episode, it's, it's going to be interesting. Because it's a James focused episode. We see that there's a, uh, the Toxapex in this episode as well. So it's not like this isn't, I don't know if this is James Toxapex or not right here. But I know in one scene we see both Toxapex and Marini. Hopefully in this episode, James' Marini may evolve because I actually would like to see James with a Toxapex. But I don't believe that's the case. I believe something may happen with Marini and Toxapex. And I don't, I don't know what could happen really. As we see, we see James almost punching this Toxapex. And actually kicking a Tentacruel. So it seems like James is going to be actually fist fighting against these Pokemon. I really don't know what's going to go now or what's the plot of this episode. Because we have no summaries for this episode yet. But to think that James is going to be actually fighting these Pokemon. And it's funny because... It, back in the original series, he kicked the magic card and just evolved the Gyarados. It, it's crazy seeing him back to fighting Pokemon here. It's, this is kind of cruel as, as, you, as well. Like, it's going to be crazy. But, man, if this is the episode where James Marini possibly evolves, that will be really cool to see. I really do hope that he evolves, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. We'll just have to wait to see on that. Another interesting scene that we get to see in the trailer is Lily. And her hair is green, and she's her even her skin looks a little greenish. She's wearing this suit. I believe this is actually the suit that Lucy Me was talking about earlier when she asked Lily and the others to become Ultra Beast heroes and fight off the Ultra Beast. I actually believe that this scene is different from the one where we get to see Ash and the others riding on the Garchomp and all that. I think they're just doing Poke Rod there. But this scene specifically looks like this is going to have to do with the Ultra Beast. It looks like they're kind of resembling the Ultra Recon Squad since the Ultra Recon Squad wears a suit and their skin is like a palish color. I guess you could say. I really don't know what this is going to be about. But yeah, I think this scene happens differently than the scene I'm about to talk about next. I believe this episode right here is going to have to be a Poke Race episode. 
like a pokey rod, pokey race, where Ash and the others ride on the back of pokey rod, like flying dragon pokey rods, or even just flying pseudos, because we get to see a lot of pseudos, like, we get to see Metang, the pre-evolution of Metagross, which is a pseudo, and Dragoneer, pre-evolution of Dragonite, Garchomp, so yeah, this is going to be interesting, we also get to see an Altaria 1.2 and a Flygon. I don't really know what this could be about. This could have something to do with Ryuku as well, since Ryuku is the Dragon-type master, as seen in Sun and Moon, the games. If this has something to do with Ryuku, that should be very interesting, because if Ryuku does appear, I actually see him being another rival for Ash. Ash, Gladion, and Ryuku being the three rivals of the region. Ryuku focusing on dragon types, Ash focusing on, you know, just his, his like the way Ash is speedy type team, and Gladion with the more edgier type Nose Valley type of team. So... That would be very interesting to see what happens here. I think this week episode won't have too much to do with the plot, but it seems to be like a really fun episode. At first, I was like, wait, is this Ash's guard chomp? Because Ash has a Gibble, and Gibble it still hasn't evolved yet, sadly. And I was like, whoa, is Ash's Gibble coming back and it's going to evolve into guard chomp? But nah, I don't think so. I think it's just going to be a random guard chomp. Which I really want to see Ash with a guard chomp, because right here, Ash on the back of guard chomp looks really cool. And I really want to see Ash have a guard chomp on this team. But I don't think Gibble will evolve anytime soon, sadly. Who knows? It may come back in the league and just go to a Gabite. But at the moment, I don't see Gibble coming back. Because there's no real reason for Gibble to come back at the moment. Now, this last scene was very hyped up. Because we get to see Beware fighting a Buzzwall. And I was like, my goodness gracious. These two right here are going to go at it. Especially because, like... Recently, Team Rocket were hunting down Ultra Beast as well, so that they can give him the Giovanni. And now we see Beware fighting a Buzzwall. I just imagine what's going to happen. Like, who's going to win? I really do want Beware to win this fight because Beware has done some crazy things in this series. And to see him fighting a Buzzwall, to see Beware going in full action against the Ultra Beast is going to be simply amazing. And to think all the other Ultra Beasts that will be coming through, it seems like Ultra Beast Buzzwall has came to our world because the trees in the background don't look like they're muscle trees, but regular trees. So that's going to be interesting. It seems like an Ultra Beast invasion will be happening soon. It might not just be Buzzwall, but it might just be all the Ultra Beasts coming out into our world. And that may have to, something to do with Necrozma like it does in the game. If that's the case, that's going to be very interesting. And Beware vs. Buzzwall is going to be a hype battle. I cannot wait for this battle. It's going to be simply amazing. I still do hope Beware wins. And I really can't wait for this episode just to see like the battle between Beware and Buzzwall. It's going to be simply amazing. Out of all these scenes that we got and new episodes that we got in this trailer, I'm mostly excited for both the Lily Ultra Recon Squad like, and I'm going to count that one with the one with Ash and Garchomp because it may be connected. So those, that episode and the Beware vs. Boswell, that's going to be simply amazing. I'm also interested to see what's going to happen with Marshadow in the plot as the story progresses. Overall, that was my thoughts on this new stuff that we're coming for 2018. 2017 has been a great year for Sun and Moon in my opinion. We got through Ula Ula, I'm not Ula Ula. We got through Mele Mele and Akala Island. Now we got to go to Ula Ula. And we've been the Pony, but we haven't taken on the trials there. So, yeah, it seems like we're halfway through the trial journey. And I feel like by the end of this year, we'll finish off maybe... I don't know. We may just finish Pony, but then... I'm not too sure. I think we're not going to... I think we're going to finish Ula Ula by the end of this year for sure, though. It's going to be a very interesting year for the Sun and Moon anime. I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us. Thank you all for watching. In the comment section down below, let me know what was the most hyped part of this video, of this um, of this like special preview that we got. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Trayman One, peace out.